Hey there YouTubers, I got a little uh, thing here I want to show you. Uh, I've been looking for a different way to do Android or to <laughs> to do uh, WinLink because I really don't have a, a, a Microsoft uh, Windows computer. Um, I use Linux and it's kind of a pain to do Pat WinLink on Linux and uh, pass the uh, um, PDF files of the two, like DD2 or not D, the 213 forms um, and, and the, that stuff. So I've actually ran across this other program that th this gentleman's made um, calls WinLink for Android. Um, I think it's WinLink. WinLink. Yeah, WinLink for Android. Um, and this is the site itself. Um, uh, that's the website above. And uh, what I, there's a there's a way to download it um, through his website. Um, I'll put the link down below if, if necessary. Um, but it's great. It's a great program. It's run directly out of the the Windows or the uh, Android um, operating system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into it. Um, whoops. And this uh, this shows about it. This is the latest version as of yesterday, 1.3.24. And uh, apparently you can do it all versions, um, meaning you can do it uh, via Telnet, you can do it via USB, you can do it via Bluetooth with, uh, say, like a, a mobile linked uh, device with, you know, whatever radio that you have linked with that. Um, and it seems like it's it works. Um, I've only tried the... Uh, I've only tried the, um, what do you call it, the Telnet version of it. Um, when you when you start up, it comes up with the with this. It's the normal inbox, and it looks just like a normal inbox of any mail mail provider. And uh, what you do is you go to the three dots on the upper right hand side, and you hit settings. Um, these are all the things that you can do, but you you use uh, the settings to enter in your information, your call sign. Um, you don't need to put in an SSID, but you do need to put in your WinLink password, um, whether it's uh, all uppercase, uppercase, lowercase, um, and then you can get a hold of the WinLink people for that uh, and, and figure that out. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you can put it and manually enter in your positioner, allow the, uh, allow the program to to use your your GPS coordinates um, and what uh, what I wanted to show you is how easy it actually was to set up so you enter in all this information and then you uh, you can enter in your contacts uh, the person that you want to contact uh, like a normal um, quick quick um what do you call it say you're the person that you want to do or that you want to email you enter in their name and their their um, winlink email address with their call sign at winlink.org uh, up in the contacts section um and you can email a person that way directly from from that um where it says contacts there um but i don't have anything in there but what i wanted to show you is if you hit the three lines at the upper left hand side it's just like a normal um, normal, what do you call it, uh, email provider, or email checker, if you want to call it that. I can't remember the real name for it, but um, what you want to do is, it's, it works just like WinLink, where you can compose the mail. So I'm going to compose a mail to a gentleman here that's local, and it's just going to be a test message. So um, N9JWI is his call sign um, at... I don't, I don't know. I haven't tried actually if it, if it will take it just as call sign or, um, or if you have to enter the uh, winlink.org. Uh, whoops, winkink, um, winlink.org web web uh, yeah address. Um, try to talk and type at the same time. Doesn't really work sometimes. Um, subject test message, and same thing. Down below, this is a test. 
and he's he's probably not likely going to reply right as soon as I send this. So um, what I want to do is post the outbox. So the right there in the middle, it shows um, it looks like an outbox, and then a save button, and then three dots. Um, what you can do is hit that first. You can either save it and, and then send it later. And if you do multiples, or you can just post it to the outbox from there, and that's what I'm going to do. Post it to the outbox. See that down below. And then it's going to go to the main the main screen to where if, if you had emails to, to, that came in, it would be right here. Um, and to actually send it, you hit the three lines again. You see there's one in the outbox. Okay. <clears throat> then to send it, you hit the three dots, go to sessions. And then after you've entered all your information, it'll show you whether it's whether it's Telnet, whether it's um, any other mode, uh, radio mode, packet, whatever you want to call it, um, it'll go through that way. Um, I don't know if um, anything other than packet will work. I haven't tested it. I've only tested this version via Telnet. But um, this is kind of handy because if you have internet anywhere or with your phone or Android device, um, you can just send an email pass or email message just like this instead of going into your browser. And then also if you're like on the mesh, uh, art mesh or something like that, um, it'll still work exactly the same way that, t that way too. Um, as long as somebody within the mesh is sharing their, uh, their Wi-Fi, it'll, it should go through. So what you need to do is when you come up to this, it'll, this where it's purple there, it won't be highlighted. Um, and what you want to do is just, just click on anywhere along that line and make sure that it's highlighted. And then down below in the bottom right hand side, there's that play button. What that play button does is it goes and checks just like in WinLink where, um, um, it creates a session, um, same as in Pat or anything like that. So I'm going to hit the play button. It's going to show that it's running and then it stopped. So what it done, what it's done is it sent it out. And then up, see at the upper left hand side there, um, it, there's the checkerboard. And it shows that there's one mail that's been sent, posted from the outbox to the sent button, to the sent. And if I'll show you here, shows the uh, message, that coded message has been sent to all recipients. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool, huh? That's it. Um, if there's any questions, just give me, give me a shout. If you want to hear, see any more with this, um, let me know. Um, you can, it's pretty awesome actually. It's it's way easier to do this than actually sitting down in front of the PC or whatever. Um, and realistically, if you had a small enough picture um, of, of anything, you could send that um, down downsized picture or, or text document or PDF document. Um, I know there's a an HF for sure, and I'm pretty sure on VHF there's a, a limit size in, in bytes that you can send. So you'll have to check with that and find out. So um, also the, down here at the bottom right hand side, the three dots, it shows that you can you can edit, um, respond back, copy, delete anything that's in the uh, it's in that's in your uh, system here. So this actually is just by itself uh, a WinLink email. Um, it's not a post office box. It just allows you to go and check it. So, um, anyways, that's it, um, guys. Uh, let me know if if you have any other problems or questions, and we'll just uh, we'll go from there. Uh, this would be a good start. I think in my next go around, I'm going to do a video out in the, out in the wild, on the mesh, and see if I can connect back to the home, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> check my WinLink email that way. Um, we'll see how that works out. Maybe make a, a telephone call over VoIP to uh, somebody in a different state out from the park over the mesh network. So, anyways, have a good one, and uh, we'll catch you later. 73, KB9, MTD.